You guys, we're headed out to one right now where the customer says the thermostat's clicking. They're making adjustments, but nothing's coming on. I guess the fan's not coming on, and it's hot in their house. So we're going to go out there and take a look, see what's going on. Yeah, you guys, you'll see what I'm doing here. I'm going to jump out why, and you'll see this is how I really start when I start a, a short. I'll jump R and Y together and see if I get a spark. So you'll see here. We'll get a little spark right there right there you see that that's telling me there's a short there that should not spark like that so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm actually going to put my amp probe on the r wire coming off of the transformer right here and you'll see where we have a short how high this amp draw is going to go when i jump out y again look at this nine amps that's telling us we have a direct short to ground on that low voltage wire. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull my Y wire off going to the outdoor unit. That way I can isolate the outdoor unit from the furnace and the thermostat. And we're gonna try jumping it out again and seeing if our short goes away. So you see that's the wire going to our outdoor unit and we're gonna to try to jump it out again now and see if our amp draw drops. That way we know it's something either with the wire or something in the outdoor unit. So you see we're jumping it out here and then here. And no more short. Matter of fact, our fan's coming on. So uh, yeah, so we know it's in our outdoor unit and we can look out there. I think we got a shorted contactor. I just can't film a whole lot inside because they have dogs that are constantly barking. That contactor certainly is suspect. Just make sure we don't have a, any wires rubbing here. So we we actually do though. We got a little bit of a bare wire showing here. I'm surprised they don't beat this up more with the, the weed eater. be a problem too. Might have to run a new thermostat wire here. See that's bare. That's bare wire there. Let's test our contactor. I think this unit was moved. Disconnect is clean clear over here. Our contactor actually isn't coming up horrible, 18.6. So I don't believe it is shorted, but it does look like crap. So we're gonna replace that too. And uh, I have to replace that piece of thermostat wire. I think the, the unit is right on the other side of this wall here. So it shouldn't be really that difficult to replace the whole thing. All right, I got the new wire fed through. Push through as much as I can and leave some slack out here. Like I said, the furnace is like right there. So we'll get this part taken care of first. Um, and then we'll replace the contactor. All right, we got our wire pulled in here. I said just a short run right to right there. And we got it landed. Put a pigtail in, in case we need to pull any later. So pretty easy stuff right here on the inside. We just got to get rid of this old wire here. Honestly, probably just cut most of it and abandon what's going through the wall because it's pretty tight in there. We'll cut the rest of this out. 
Yeah, they have one of these beat the peak boxes where they throttle your air conditioning. They're stupid. Not to mention they installed it ridiculously. But we're just gonna cut this for now right here. And then cut it here. And just take this out in chunks. the old wire out. We just got to run the new one over here and tie it to the line set. I had to do some gardening first to get all the weeds and stuff pulled away from it so I can tie it to the line without also tying the grass to it. I got the new stat wire ran across. Haven't connected it here yet because I wanted to clean some of this out. This is pretty dirty. See if I can scoop some of this out of here. That's, that's packed in there pretty good. All right, got the thermostat wire done. Now we just gotta work on the contactor. Yeah, it's pretty eat up. There. And there. All right, new contactor in now. Let's clean up a little bit, then we'll turn this thing on. I think we're ready to test it. All right, we are off and running. Cold suction already. This is probably R22, honestly. Yeah, I know what you guys were thinking. That condenser was pretty dirty. So I did brush it clean the best I could. Um, we're going to get her set up on a PM. We'll go back. We'll send the PM guys back and go ahead and clean that whole thing up. But I did brush most of the dirt and all off of it. So, but uh, yeah, so that I wish I would have got it on on camera, but those dogs were just barking so much and I couldn't film really anything inside. So as soon as there was a call for cooling, the thermostat would start going click, click 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 and it would just non-stop kept doing that so what was happening was as soon as it sent y out it would short and then it would send the thermostat into a frenzy so um the first thing that came to mind was a short i didn't think the thermostat was bad i thought okay we probably have a short somewhere and the thermostat is kind of just you know going haywire so uh, we found the short on the thermostat wire replaced it and originally I thought it was probably going to be a shorted contactor and the contactor did look like crap but it was not shorted so we went ahead and changed that also just because it was charred and burnt up and all that so but well we got it back up and running we're good to go we got a new happy customer we're going to get her set up on a service plan and she was also talking about uh, possibly changing that unit out soon because it's you know 20 years old so We'll get that locked in too. But all right, guys, that's it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.